Welcome to highlights from the ninth round of the Keeper Sim Racing Series from Dubai. The first race in the sprint format saw Juan Manuel Gomez on pole position ahead of championship leading David Noj. On the run in towards turn one, he'd be attacked by Noj on the inside. Was unable to make it stick though was Noj and it would be Juan Manuel Gomez leading. Noj would take second. Bent Banky was sent off at turn one and a little bit later on things would get even worse. Attila Dina and then Tim Yasha would just clip him ever so slightly and send him off and to the back. Multiple race winner this season, Moritz Lerner, who's second in the championship, qualified only in 19th place. It would take him one lap with some pretty aggressive moves to work his way up the order and would be inside the top 10 at the end of that first lap. Wouldn't be long into the race until David Noj would fire one down the inside of Gomez. The Argentinian driver, though, with a beautiful cutback, would stay out front. Florian Haaser would get by Adam Pinchez and then very quickly by Ben Zupanek as well. Adam Pinchez wouldn't be too happy and on the run down towards turn one, he'd get by Zupanek, make a little bit of contact with Florian Haasa, but Haasa would stay in front after the first sector. Then racing got really crazy into the hairpin. Contact between uh, Haasa and Adam Pinchez, then with Ben Zupanek as well. Zupanek trying to go all the way around the outside, does so on the Hungarian, and Tim Yarshul was becoming part of the mix. Into the next corner, there'd be further contact. Zupanek and Yarshul would be the two ahead. Florian Haasa would drop back three positions in a couple of corners. Zupanek would just about hang on with Yarshul behind, but as they continued, Yarshul would get the move done through turn one. Things wouldn't be getting much better for Moritz Lerner. He's picked up a track cut. Martin Barner would make the move and as he was lifting off, gets ever so slightly clipped by Emery Chihan. Takes the slowdown penalty here, drops all of the positions that he'd gained over the first few laps and down to 19th place. The battle for the race win was absolutely on as Noj dives down the inside of Gomez. Then, later on, left the door open for Gomez. He fired it straight back through. Unfortunately, things wouldn't be for Gomez. The final lap of the race, David Noj goes down the inside of the first corner, makes a move stick. Gomez did everything that he possibly could, but yet another race victory goes the way of the Hungarian championship leader. There would be a second race, though, and a smaller qualifying session, which saw Noj on pole position ahead of Gianmarco Feducci, who had an excellent qualifying session, onto the front row of the grid, an easy launch from all of them. On the round down towards turn one, things were a little bit cleaner, a little bit calmer for the likes of Benz Banki. Tim Yarshall getting very much in the mix there. Moritz Lerner had qualified better this time but still not particularly great he was languishing down in the mid pack battling with Emery Chihan for about ninth place and there'd be a bit of contact between himself and Pavel McConan and then even further contact between himself and Martin Barner who's making a move on Emery Chihan the first of the top lot to get a slow down penalty Bent Banky goes towards the back of the line would not be the last to get one in this group David Noj leading the way Gianmarco Feducci and Juan Manuel Gomez directly behind Noj a little bit easy on the brakes open the door for Gianmarco Feducci but then there was contact behind with Gomez who pushed into the back of Noj and Tim Yarshall comes out of absolutely nowhere to scoop up into second place, would go for the race lead, would make contact with David Noj in doing so, would pick up a strike in doing so and with that he would pick up his sixth strike of the season and would be getting a one race ban for his troubles. Through that David Noj got a slow down penalty and he would then drop to the back of the line and through that would cost Gomez on Bent Banky who would scoop up a podium position at least at the early stages of this race. That's where David Noj drops back to behind Adam Pinchez for sixth place. Whilst Gianmarco Feducci was trying to make a bold move around the outside of Tim Yarshall, Benz Banki sniffed out his opportunity and took second from the Italian. Then the Italian would just overdo the track limits. He would pick up a slowdown penalty and he would cost himself a chance at the podium. He would then drop down to sixth place. Gomez would move his way up onto the podium once again. Sad scenes for Gianmarco Feducci. The battle for the race lead would continue though as Tim Yarsh would overcook the double left-hander, opening the door for Benz Banky to sweep on through. He'd just about take the lead, but with the inside to the next corner, it was always going to go the way of the young German, Tim Yarshall. Whilst defending for the podium, though, Gomez would just overdo the hairpin. He'd clip the back ever so slightly of Benz Banky. It would open the door for Adam Pinchez to sneak a cheeky podium. Benz Banky's chances for a race win were gone in that one moment, and Tim Yarshall would take victory here in Dubai.